Catherine Decina Sapplin, your beer mistress, and this week we are trying this beer. Trappist Achshell. Ach Achshell? Yeah, Dutch guys. Funny story. I had all this beer at the bottom of the fridge, and since, why don't you want to open beer? Since we're moving, okay, seriously does not want to open. By the way, this is a white bottle cap. It's super boring. Since we were moving, I wanted to drink all the beer that was in the fridge. That would just be one less thing we had to move. And then I looked in the tiny fridge and found a whole bunch of beer that I forgot I bought. So that's what we're drinking today. And I chose this one because it's a blonde. Oh. Yeah, if you guys are new, hey, welcome to my channel. Hit that subscribe button. I don't like blondes and I'm already getting blondness from it. Oh, it's, it's gonna be good, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Here's the color. Oh, wow, look at all that carbonation going on in there. That sort of gives me hope, speculation, but I feel like the more carbonation there is, the better the blonde, because if you guys remember, the beer beer that was Deleuze's blonde beer had no carbonation whatsoever, and it just tasted weird smell this. It just, it smells like a blonde. There's maybe a fruit or maybe it's floral. I don't know. There's some sweet note that's coming off. I'm so excited to try this. You can tell. <sighs> yeah, let's just, we're good. Yeah, we're gonna get it over with. <laughs> His old set. Okay, this is actually pretty decent. I mean, sure, there's that blonde taste that I don't particularly like, but I feel like this is a beer that I might get again, just because the taste on it is not what I expected. Also, I can't really place what I'm tasting. So it's a interesting taste. I just, I have no idea what it is. I think the bubbles from the carbonation really helps because they're stinging and popping my mouth. And so I sort of like that texture to it, that floral, fruity smell. I don't know what it is, but there's that sweet note that comes after the carbonation. And then it ends on a slight sort of nail polishy remover blonde taste that we're gonna call. And that's the only unpleasant part of the beer. I feel bad for judging this beer now. Sorry guys pretty decent. I will say though that like the artwork on this, uh, sort of boring. That's the uh, only thing I'm, I'm not feeling. This has such an interesting weight to it because when I'm tasting it in the beginning, I think, oh, this is light and refreshing. And then by the end of it, it's like, ooh, no, it's it's really heavy. So I think normally when you have blonde beers, blonde beers are, are what are associated with football games and all that. I don't know, this feels a bit too heavy for a soccer game. This comes in at 8% ABV. I know, so much higher than the alcohol you'll find back home. Holy crap, this is really hitting my stomach and it's not going to my head, it's just hitting my stomach. And I literally just finished eating. So my stomach is filled. So there's a whole bunch of food that should be able to absorb the alcohol and it's just, it's not. So that's sort of unpleasant because I'm at a point now where I think if I continue drinking, I might actually get sick from this. And it's not an unpleasant drink, it's just it's hitting my stomach that hard. I feel like that's a design flaw because if you have a product, you want people to buy as much of the product as possible because you know, that's how capitalism works. If people are pacing themselves because they're getting sick, from your product, they're not going to buy as much. So perhaps since they're Belgian, they don't have that capitalistic mindset, which is probably better, let's be real, but they're probably making less money. Maybe that's why they, they have this sort of uh, artwork. More people should buy this beer so that they can improve their artwork. I feel like it's going to my head now because I'm rambling. Yeah. <laughs> okay, unfortunately, I, I really cannot finish this because I, I drink, anymore. I, I do feel like I'm going to get sick. So that's sort of awkward. That's how we're going to end the beer review. It's good, but it'll make you sick. Look how bright and beautiful it is. Like the sky is almost clear. Only a couple little clouds in the way. 
but holy crap, it is so cold today, which makes no sense because it looks so nice. I mean, it's nice, it's just it's cold. 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 Like, there should be snow on the ground. It's so freaking cold. 